Fascinating out in the tropics right now is we have two systems that we're keeping a very close watch on. Invest 97, which is not yet a name storm, and Tropical Depression 13. What's interesting is this is forward speed is moving at about 20 miles an hour and will continue at a very fast clip. Uh, 97 is moving fairly slow and might actually stall before moving toward the Yucatan. It's possible that those two systems, even though they are several hundred miles apart, actually more than a thousand miles apart, could make it into the Gulf around the same time. End of this weekend and start of next week. Let's start with Tropical Depression 13. What's very fascinating about this is that you see the big cluster of thunderstorms and boy, it looks like it's getting better organized. Well, the center of, this, uh, of uh, what was in Vest 98 had been placed down farther south from the Hurricane Center. When they upgraded it to 13, they decided, well, this is no longer the center. And actually, you can still pretty clearly see a little spin there. They're saying this is now the center. So that kind of shifted everything a little bit north. And that kind of comes into a big uh, uh, part of the forecast in just a second. I'm going to show you. The thunderstorms, though, are not exactly getting very well wrapped around. So the development is going to be slow. But because it is now a little bit farther, farther north from where the Hurricane Center had originally thought, they have kind of shifted their thinking and keeping the storm north of the islands as we progress into the end of the week and then start into the weekend. Why does that play a huge role in the forecast? Because if it stays out over open water, it could strengthen. And that is why the Hurricane Center is saying winds are getting 65 to 70 miles an hour. Notice Sunday night, it's already north of Cuba and then by Monday night, possibly in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now, Again, it depends on when it makes any kind of a turn. If it makes it sooner, it keeps it off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic or a little bit later then yes, perhaps into the eastern Gulf. But even at this position and this track, it would keep us on the drier side. So as things uh, are, are looking right now, it would still be not as a major impact to us other than bringing us maybe a little bit of a dry flow on the eastern side or us being on the western side of the storm. This is Invest 97 one that actually looks like maybe more of an impact to us as a lot of the models, as I mentioned, kind of slowing it down near the Yucatan. Here comes uh, now 13 kind of racing along the Atlantic and then both moving into the Gulf of Mexico. It's still very uncertain as to exactly where the storm is going to go once it makes it off of the Yucatan because it just depends on we've got an upper trough that's going to be diving south. Is it get picked up by that? That may be more likely if it's a stronger, more organized system. However, if 90 seven is a much weaker, more open wave type disturbance, then it might not get picked up by that trough at all and move out toward Texas. So either way, we're going to be closely watching two systems. The peak or the busiest part of the season starts tomorrow, so this is not an unexpected thing. A lot of moisture is going to be moving in our direction from both of those systems, but as I mentioned, it may be more of a rain impact from 97 coming out of the Caribbean as opposed to what is now Tropical Depression 13. If it does become named, it would be Laura, as it looks like a lot of that moisture may stay more off to our east. Let's hope that is the case and something that we'll be watching very closely.